I'm um, Sawe so here on the Parliamentary Debate World Congress trip for 2018. And um, so we're the ambassadors, so we're volunteering to go over there and help out with the um, younger group that are debating over there. Um, so what I hope to get out of this trip is to gain a better understanding than I got last um, time I went around and just that whole community feel with a whole different group. Another big thing that I would um, like to do is to connect with the Japanese people over in Japan um, so that the relationship between myself, um, Australia and Japan is just that little bit little bit extra so that when they come over here they feel that um, nice like environment that they can be themselves and not have that like nervous feel with them and then the same when I go over there as well. Uh, so the thing I want to get out of uh, going to this trip uh, that is sponsored by the Australian and Japanese Foundation is uh, I want to practice my Japanese skills a lot more and as well as use that to make a lot more friends and make sure everyone has a really good time because if I can go back knowing that everyone had a really good time I'm satisfied with that um, yeah so I'm grateful to the Japanese Australian Foundation for sponsoring us to do this the thing that I've noticed at PDWC is that a lot of the um, Japanese students uh, speak a little bit of English or are quite fluent in it um, and it's great um, when it comes to communicating and debating because um, in Australia uh, it's quite different, you know, the English is limited with Japanese people and there can be that language barrier but it's quite, um, it's quite helpful when there's that um, when you're able to make that interaction with them because they do understand English and they're able to speak it to you. So a fun experience I had today was just meeting all the different cultures and different personalities in all the students and really connecting with them and learning about their cultures and their countries and where they come from and also sharing my experiences from Australia. So I've been interacting with Japanese people throughout this whole trip. I am roommates with two of them and I've also um, been in workshops with them all day, so which is really good and I was really surprised how excellent their English was and their fluency, which was really amazing because it makes communication a whole lot easier and it's also great to work with them and learn about all their, their culture. Debating helps with respectful communication and you need to just think of your think on your feet a lot and it also improves your um, global mindedness and you have a more of an international perspective on the topics we're talking about. Today is our first day of PDWC 2018. We just finished our first debate, which was a mixed debate with people from different countries. So on each team was people from three different countries, which is it's a new experience, uh, learning with different people and learning to communicate um, with each country. So on my team, I had um, two girls. One was from... Japan, uh, so again, uh, not native English speaker, which is um, educational to um, communicate with them, and also a girl from Vietnam. The most fun thing today, I think, surprisingly, is just meeting the new people. It's surprisingly fun when the two cultures mix and you have lots of stories to share and different experiences that are shocking to you, but it's just normal to them. It's really interesting and a good experience. So in 2017 I was a participant of PDWC and that experience was life-changing. Uh, it made me look at the bigger picture of life and realise that there's so much more than just Australia. Um, and then this year I was sponsored by AJF to go back as a volunteer for 2018 and it the tables flipped I was behind the scenes of the whole event I was seeing how much hard work goes into such a big event I was seeing what it was like to work with people who were so dedicated to giving these young teenagers an experience that could and would change their lives. So this year I um, I'm a school captain at Rabina State High School and if it wasn't for PDWC 2017 and 2018 I don't think I would have the confidence and capability of uh, 
performing this role. I've, ever since my first experience and my second, I've learnt about perspectives and how critical they are to take into account when uh, dealing with situations. I've learned about teamwork and how to have fun at the same time and to not not be disappointed when things don't go the way you hoped because at the end it could it could go any way you could have an amazing experience even if there were hard little stumbles along the way um, I've I've definitely learned to appreciate the hard things um, the struggles because I know that in the end there's going to be a great result and taking my time to really just be grateful for everything. In grade nine, I was studying Japanese at school and when that year ended, I decided to no longer study Japanese. And looking back at that after Japan and my experience with PDWC, I regret that very much. I, I've realized that I really love the Japanese culture the language and so I've decided to start studying it again because I want to be global I want to I want to learn other languages I want to be able to go to countries and not rely on English but be able to really delve into their culture and understand them using their language so yes my project is learning Japanese and I'm I'm really glad that I've come to that realization so through studying Japanese, not only have I gotten to uh, learn the language and improve my knowledge, but I also get a better understanding of the culture and that was um, really important for PDWC because obviously it's based in Japan. Through my cultural understanding that I've learnt both through studying Japanese at school and also through the experience of the PDWC, it now tightens um, the relationship between Australia and Japan and we both have a better understanding of our cultures and I've deepened my friendships with Japanese people and I can see us reconnecting in the future so it's great to have lots of contacts in Japan which can then help me in the future for things such as employment opportunities or if I want to further my study in Japanese, if I was to return to Japan, benefit from the many friendships I formed at the PDWC. I felt like when I came back I wasn't really sure what to do with myself because you know coming from such an amazing event it was like just coming back to school and socializing with my friends every day it was like what am I doing? So when I started doing the project with Lily where we were trying to close the gap between um, international kids and arena kids, it felt like I was almost back in PDWC doing something every day, socialising with all these different people from around the world and connecting with them um, and you know discovering new perspectives which was an amazing feeling. To continue the relationship between Japan and Australia, um, when the international kids come over from Japan, because we have a lot of um, Japanese international students, just making sure that they feel welcome and um, showing them and, and teaching them about Australia. And also, I guess, keeping in contact with the students I met in PDWC. I mean, we have um, like all these message groups on social media where we can socialise and talk about our experiences and just everyday life, really. It's pretty cool. I was thinking about it for a couple of years, um, beforehand but now actually I've had really strong thoughts on what I can do with my Japanese studies and actually um, live in Japan for a little bit um, and meet new people maybe even catch up with the people from PDWC now that my now that, like my experience from PDWC has actually improved my um, Japanese language so I can use that to socialize better and to meet up with the people from PDWC in, while living in Japan. So in 2018, I was sponsored by AJF to be a youth ambassador for PDWC. And it was a very different role compared to what I did as a participant in 2017. And it, it taught me a lot of new skills that I hadn't 
uh, developed as much in the previous year. And it um, taught me a lot about facilitating and leading a big group of people and time management and all the things that goes behind the scenes that some people don't actually realize. And I developed a lot of uh, new new skills and like confidence in doing those kind of things and uh, just the skills that, that I have never actually really done before were sort of really highlighted in, in the 2018 PDWC. This year in 2018, I left for PDWC and then actually coming back to school, I was stepping into a new role which was the, a school leader, school vice captain. And to this end, I feel like PDWC was really helpful because it was my first sort of go at facil facilitating people and leading people and you know having a position of authority in a sense. So I think that coming back here, I really had skills that I was really grateful to develop in, in PDWC 2018 because here now I'm leading the school body and the student body and making a lot of decisions that affects a lot of people and I don't think that without the skills and confidence I developed in PDWC 2018, uh, I don't think I'd be able to do it as well as I am now. Uh, I studied Japanese as a year 12 student in high school and I've been studying it since uh, primary school and I've always loved Japan but PDWC gave me the opportunity to actually go there and experience the culture and it's really you know, jaw-dropping when you go there and I really, it, it's really affected me because um, it's opened up a lot of my future and it's reminded me a lot of um, the opportunities that knowing and learning Japanese actually offers and, and even now I'm, uh, my future career path is actually veering towards uh, international relations and Japanese so things like uh, being a Japanese interpreter or things like uh, teaching English in Japan is something I really want to do. So I think thanks to PDWC, a lot of my interest in Japan and you know connecting this bridge between Australia and Japan and it's really just been developed. Okay, so PDWC is kind of in a way impossible to explain it because you kind of have to be there to experience it because you've got all these cultures and stuff and you can't just say yeah it's great to meet new people but there's a lot behind it like the stories they tell and just interacting like we don't get to do that every day it's just something different that we get to do and it's just really I don't know again you can't explain it since we studied Japanese it was easy to make that friendship with the Japanese students because you had that common ground something to talk about like we helped each other with our languages we're sitting at dinner discussing like how to say different things and yeah, you can like um, engage with the other countries. We all got along finally, but it was something more strong to talk about between the Japanese and us. Going to Japan was definitely an eye-opener for me for what I want to do in the future. So I'm quite passionate about the environment and stuff. And like, even just driving in a car there, you see like solar panels on a car park. And it's kind of cool to see that countries are doing something about that. And that's something I want to do. So that's kind of given me the idea to maybe, since I learned Japanese, I can probably go to a university, live there. I know the basics, but that's obviously going to help me with my Japanese even more. And that's it's good to learn that language, otherwise I wouldn't ever have that opportunity to do that. So I think Japan's a leader just basically because of how advanced they are in technology. Um, so that's helping them, so that's something Australia, it's still doing, but it just doesn't move as fast as it does in Japan. And that's something why I would like to go to Japan. And obviously, doesn't mean I'm only going to be in Japan, it could be I start learning in Japan and then come back to Australia with stuff I've gained from Japan. Before PDWC, um, I was probably, I had lots of ideas and didn't know what to do with them, how to take action, whether or not to take action, but after just experiencing that, it's quite like inspirational, inspiring, it makes you feel like doing something in the world, so I think I've come back with like a drive to do stuff and to make a change, in a way, yeah.